Okay, come next one. Next question. Figure 1.2 show two graphs representing the relative blood concentration of two hormones, A and B, released by the ovaries during menstrual cycle. Guys, I already mentioned to you. So what are the two hormones released by ovaries? Oestrogen and progesterone. Okay, they are involved in maintaining the thickness of the lining of the uterus. So guys, can you guys tell me which one is A? Yes, very good. Okay, oestrogen is A, correct. B, it will be progesterone. Remember, you secrete the oestrogen first, only then you secrete the progesterone. Yeah? Okay, awesome. Now, let's move on to the next part. Describe the role of the hormones A. Okay, guys. So, it means that you have to mention the function. So, therefore, uh, all the hormones, in order for you to score, just memorize the function. Okay? So, you have to mention first, what is hormones A? So, if you give the identity, you will get one mark. Hormones A is oestrogen. Okay? And then you mention the function. Remember, yeah? Oestrogen is to repair, okay, the uterus lining. Okay? Repair the uterus lining. Okay? And also, it is to stimulate the secretion of LH. Okay, it will cause the LH to be secreted. At the same time, it will inhibit the secretion of FSH. Simple as that. Okay, yeah? so if you mention it is oestrogen, then you will get one mark, identity. Repair the uterus lining. Okay, very important, guys. Can you mention only uterus? Cannot. You have to mention uterus lining. Okay, stimulate the secretion of LH. The LH will cause what? Remember, guys, LH will cause ovulation, release of the egg cells, okay? And it inhibits FSH. So if it's three points, if possible, you give, if it's three marks, right? If possible, you give four points, okay? Follicle stimulating hormones. Thank you, Darren. Correct. Thank you, JJ. Okay, follicle stimulating hormones. Okay, next one. State the days in figure 1.2 when ovulation is most likely to occur. Usually is day 14. Day 14, yeah? Okay. So, you start from the period. So, always remember, period is day 1. Okay? So, from this graph, it's very easy to identify because this is already period. Okay, yeah? this is already period. How you know it is a period or menstruation? So you can say period or you can say menstruation. How do you know? Because the lining, yes, breakdown. Thank you, Declan. Okay, very good. Breakdown of the uterus lining. Correct. Okay. So as the uterus lining breaks down, the thickness decreases. Okay. So therefore, your ovulation will be on day 14. If you want to put 15 also can, plus minus one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yes. So day 14. 15 also can. 16 also can. All right. For this one, they are quite lenient. Okay, state the days when the lining of the uterus lost from the body. It breaks down. Okay, so you can mention day 0 to 6. Guys, read the question carefully. Yeah? They say state the days. So means that you have to mention more than one day, correct? You see that? Okay, huh? so do you see the differences? The first one, you have to mention only one day. But the second one, days, you have to mention the range. Okay, so oestrogen release, uh, is oestrogen and progesterone released by follicles or the ovary? Um, follicle is in the ovary. So if you want to be safe, you can just say ovary. Understand? Okay, yeah. But it is uh, released by the follicle, correct.